Hi everyone, it's Donna Robertson with Fabric Cafe. Thanks for joining us today. Uh, we're going to be talking about three yard quilt kits and three yard quilts today. We have uh, nine different books. Seven of them are in print, two of them are download only. Every quilt pattern is made with just three one yard cuts of fabric and one of our patterns. If you want to make it larger, that's really easy to do because every book gives you the instructions for making a lap size and you'll be seeing lap size quilts today. It'll also give you the instructions for a twin made with two kits or a king queen made with four kits. So if you are using yardage from your stash, that means you would need three one yard cuts for your lap. You would need six one yard cuts for your twin and you would need 12 one yard cuts for a queen king. The instructions are very, very easy to follow, lots of diagrams, and um, with no further ado, we're gonna show you some cool things today. And we're gonna start with free goodies. On fabriccafe.com, you can find all of our quilt kits, our patterns, and our books, but we also have a button called free goodies. And under free goodies, we have lots of goodies for you to explore. We have things like how do you add a border, we have um, how to back your quilts, how do you cut your backing for your different size quilts if you're using 45 inch wide fabric. And we also have fun things like the awareness ribbon quilt. So let me put that down. And this calls for a little story. because This is 2020 and in 2008, just about this time, I had peach fuzz on top of my head. It was a lot like John's haircut, if those of you remember John behind the camera, <laughs> because I had just finished chemo. Uh, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and um, I did have that um, scary diagnosis in 2007, and I did go through uh, chemo, but whenever I hit my finished my treatment and I hit my birthday, I created this pattern and it's called the Awareness Ribbons and it is a free download on our website and we're going to be covering uh, breast cancer awareness today. Our name of our program is Pretty in Pink. So if you would like to have this pattern, it's free for the whole month of October and the uh, instructions for how to make the Awareness Ribbons are here and just as a little side note, there's a, a website in here that explains to you that you can go and find the other colors of ribbon because there are many colors of ribbons now. They're used for all types like the Alzheimer's. It also has the, uh, what are some other ones? <laughs> I know the, oh, the heart. Uh, they just have a lot of the different ribbons available, the different colors, and you can find that on uh, online too. So this is the pattern, it's free for you to download. And we're going to start with a downloadable pattern also, and that is our daisy pattern. This is a daisy um, done with a chenille by the inch. Let me grab that pattern, is that over here too? Mm -hmm. It's underneath the awareness ribbons. All right, let me find that one. Got all kinds of goodies here. Okay, the pattern, the quilt pattern is called So Easy, and So Easy is um, an individual pattern that you can pick as a freebie when you buy a kit, or it does come in our book, um, Quilt Favorites. That's our second book, and it is a download only. But the daisy pattern is just an embellishment for any of the quilts. So this is a three-yard quilt, and you could add these daisies if you'd like. And here is the, the daisy pattern. It is available free of charge on our free goodies. Now what we're gonna do today is we're gonna show you a quilt. And why don't you set that up here, Hannah. Okay, so we're gonna show you this, but we're going to add the pink ribbon rather than a daisy. And I'll show you how that was going to work out. We made this little swatch, so we're gonna cover up the daisies. And you can see that these pretty colors that we have here would make up into a beautiful quilt. And it would be great for showing um, off the pink ribbons that we're going to put in these real pale blue-green, uh, blue-green, blue-gray 
uh, blocks that we have here. So I made a se separate block so I could show you how to do the pink ribbons with chenille by the inch. Let me pull that over closer to the edge, John. No, I'm okay. Okay. Chenille by the inch is a pre-sewn faux chenille that we manufacture here at Fabric Cafe. And here are our three pinks. We have three different colors of pink. We have a real pale pink that has just a little bit of kind of a peachy color. That's our cotton candy. Is that right, cotton candy? <laughs> I have to stop and think. This one is our bubble gum. It's a little bit darker. It's about the shade of, of what you think of bubble gum, but kind of light, a uh, lighter pink. And then we have the one we call raspberry, which is a real hot pink. So depending on what color of pink ribbons you wanted to use to match your fabric, we're gonna show you two different ones today, um, these two right here that we used. Now, whenever you're using the chenille by the inch, you are going to take those rolls and you're going to cut it into long strips like this. There's a stitch line right in the middle and you use that for sewing it to the background. What I did here is I deliberately used shorter pieces because I wanted to show you a few tips. First of all, you need to use a stiletto whenever you're putting down chenille just because it helps you to do things like turn these curves. Now, at any point that you are sewing your chenille by the inch down, and we started right here, and by the way, I put this, I just took the pattern, here's the pattern, and I taped it, I turned it over, and I taped the uh, fabric to the back of the pattern, and I put it on the door, on the screen, or glass door, and then I could trace it. You can also use a, uh, a light box if you have a light box. But this is what we're making here. Now when you start sewing it, you're going to start here. You want to back tack and then use a stiletto. Now this is nothing more than a bamboo skewer that you can use. You can get in your barbecue section of the grocery store and it's great for making shish kebab, but it's also a great stiletto that you can keep around if you'd like. So we back tack here, we sew right on top of our stitch line. So again, if you look at this, you can see we have a stitch line. That's where we've sewn three layers of fabric together on the bias. So you're gonna stitch right on top of that line. And one of the best tricks I can give you is if you're gonna go around a curve, you can do that pretty easily, but don't do it if you see you're going to have to patch because chenille by the inch is great. You can just overlap it a little and continue to sew. When we brush this, you'll never see that overlap. It'll just all blend together. It is normal when you go around a curve for it to do that little pucker. Again, that's gonna go away also. So I was sewing along and I could see that I was going to run out before I got to a curve. I just used my scissor and I cut it off. I tucked the new piece under and I continued to sew. And I would take one or two stitches, I'd stop, and I have a knee lift so I could lift up my presser foot, and then I could adjust and take another couple of stitches and adjust. And don't worry about this because it's gonna pucker and it's gonna relax when we sew it. I finished on around the curve and lo and behold, I get down here and look, there's another curve. So I did the same thing again. I just cut it off. I put the tail end of a new one under that and went on around it. So you can kind of patch this and finish sewing it. You can patch it with a chenille. In fact, I'm gonna show you a little pillow where we use a little bitty piece. You back tack and then you just cut it off like that. You don't have to do anything else with um, your chenille strip. You don't have to turn it under or anything like that. This is a little pillow that we did. And see the little puppy nose? The little puppy nose is just a little bitty piece of chenille that we put right on the tip of his nose and fluffed it up. So, and then he's got a cute little tail down here too. So chenille by the inch can be used in lots of different ways, but the pink ribbon is just great. Okay, then you take your chenille brush, you put your brush down flat, you do a little, little back and forth circle. The nylon bristle will not hurt your fabrics, but it will comb the fibers apart. Now what I'm trying to do now is just lift up the edges a little bit. You're not trying to make them uh, come completely apart. Then you take a spray bottle with water and you lightly mist. 
Then you're going to take your brush, you're going to put it down flat and do the same thing again. You just do little bitty circles and you can see how it's starting to fluff. So, see how that's all fluffed up there? Let me move it over closer, John, or you nope, got it? You're good. Okay, now I wanna just bring you back over to the daisy. So this cute little daisy, that's all dry. Look how full and fluffy. It just curls up over the stitch line. And here we just covered those raw edges uh, like we have on the end of the pink ribbon. We just covered it with a little circle of fabric. So that's how easy it is for you to make the pink ribbons. If you want to add that to any of the, um, the quilts that we're making today. So you can just imagine how pretty this particular quilt is, and we're gonna show you the fabric now, and then we're gonna move right along to some more fabric. All right. So do you wanna take the quilt? Yeah. And we'll put, we'll put the fabric down there now. Okay, here's our fabrics that we're showing. Here's your kit number, 8020571 is the kit number. It's called Think Pink and these beautiful colors. Now I'm gonna put this back over there so you can see the squares, how this makes up. And these are just six inch squares that are sewn together. Actually, they're six and a half inch squares sewn together. <laughs> so we have our pretty um, Moda fabric here with the uh, kind of lilac and peachy pink. And then we have this really nice kind of gray that kind of mimics the um, leaves. And then we have our darker fabric here. Now, as I've explained before, the way you pick your position in your quilt is you put your focus fabric in the large in the first number one spot, and then you take your number two and three and you compare them. You put the lightest in your number two and your darkest in the number three position. So this one is called Think Pink. It's 8020571. And we're going to either give you the free so easy pattern or if you want to buy three kits any three kits then you can select a book instead of an individual pattern and if you select a book it would be quilt favorites that has this pattern and um, that's a downloadable only we will send you a code that you would use to download that pattern okay the next quilt that we're going to show you is um, Pretty Please, and Pretty Please is, um, this is out of a kid's fabric. We don't have this particular fabric anymore, but we decided to do pieces and parts on this, and we have a beautiful batik, so let's put that up on the table. And here are the fabrics that we're going to use for this. Aren't these gorgeous? This one is 8020572 Cotton Candy, and it's the pattern Pretty Please. Pretty Please is only available as an individual pattern. It is not available in a book. Beautiful batiks. Look how rich, rich, rich these are. I just love this fabric. And we picked up the pink and the purple because not everybody wants to be baby pink. Let's give them a little brightness and happiness. One of the things that happened while I was going through chemo is they came to the center that where I was having my treatments and they said, we're having a prayer circle. I'm gonna start crying. <laughs> They're having a prayer circle and everyone can take a quilt home. And I thought that was just an amazing thing. I was in the quilting business, so therefore I didn't choose to take a quilt, but I did go to the uh, prayer circle and uh, saw all the quilts that had been donated by quilters, and I thought it was very, very touching. And that was one of the things that I wanted to do by creating that free pattern for you, was to give back, because if you're in that really dark part of your life, whenever you have something like that happen, you want some bright, cheery stuff around, so bright beautiful fabrics and share those with people that are in need. Okay our kit number I've given to you now let's look at these pretty fabrics. This is the focus fabric your largest print and then you compare the two remaining fabrics 
and the number two fabric is your lightest and the number three fabric is your darkest. Now, how would this look in this particular quilt? Okay, I've got pieces and parts. So here's just a simple block like this. You're just cutting blocks. And of course, my seam allowances are still on this. And then you will do a strip piece that sews three long pieces together and you'll cut out the units as I direct. And we're gonna put this one down here like so. And then you will sew pieces on the side like this. And again, my seam allowances are on there, so ignore the fact that they're hanging out. And then here's our cropper, so we can show you how this looks whenever you, let's pick that up, whenever you crop out the rest of the quilt. Isn't that pretty? That's a gorgeous quilt. And we did pick out the bubble gum we thought would make a great uh, pink ribbon on this particular one. And to make all of the ribbons on the uh, quilt, just take one roll like this. And remember, you can get the pattern free on the website. So this one is called Cotton Candy. It's pretty in, uh, pretty please is the name of the pattern. And we'll take those pieces and parts off. Okay, the next quilt that we're going to show you, remember those daisies, and I told you they'll go on many of our quilts? Well, the next one that we're going to show you is actually a different quilt, and it's called <laughs> Fun Times. And we just put this one, it's from a different book, and we just put that on this particular quilt just for the fun of it. So uh, we, we no longer have a lot of the fabrics we're showing you in the quilts, but we want you to be able to see how the quilts make up. And most of them are gonna be about 45 by 60. Many of them would look adorable with that daisy on there. So if you wanna check that out, but we have a pretty and pink quilt. So let's look at that. So this one is a bright and happy quilt. I really like that. It would look really cute in these uh, rectangles. So these are just re strip pieced rectangle sets that you can put together. And um, these are really good for small prints whenever you're doing the smaller pieces like this. Focus fabric is this cute little blue with the pink flowers on it. You've got a background here and this would be perfect to show off the pink in the uh, uh, chenille if you wanted to put ribbons on it or put some daisies on it. Daisies are happy, happy flowers. So that would be a really sweet quilt to give to someone as well. So that's 8020393, Pretty Pastels. It's the Fun Times pattern. And here's the Fun Times pattern. It's also available in our book, Easy Peasy. So you can, if you buy three kits, you can skip taking the little patterns and you can take one of our books free. You'll have eight patterns in three different sizes. So you'll want to check that out. The next quilt that we're going to show you is Candy Stripes. Now this one does have some soft pinky colors to it, but we don't have this particular fabric. But we do have one that we think you're gonna like a lot. It's a little bit deeper, richer pinks. So let's put that up here. And we talk about that sometimes in my family. I have a sister, Ruth, who loves pastels. She's really pink and blue and things like that. And she has blue eyes. Well, I have dark eyes and I do like pink, but this is my shade of pink. I like kind of bright, deep colors. So, you know, people have different different thoughts on what, what's pretty in, in, in the color pink. So this one is called Rose Hips. It's 8020573 is the number. And we're recommending the candy stripe pattern. This is only available as an individual pattern. It is not available as um, in a book. And the quilt fabric, this is roses, really pretty. And then the secondary fabric, this is not batiks. This is batik and this is batik, but we sometimes mix them so we can get that contrast. So um, you would wanna use these two in the middle of your quilt. And then you can use this one, which is a much smaller little 
uh, rows on, in your borders. So this one would be absolutely precious. And that one is called Candy Stripe. And again, for those who are not aware of it, you can purchase the kit. And if you don't want the pattern we're recommending, you can pick any one of my patterns that are available as an individual. Just write that in your comment section and we will provide that one for you as a substitute. Okay, the next quilt is um, Picture Perfect. This is from my very first book and I've always loved this one. Don't have this fabric, but I do like the, that color combination. Again, you've got some pink going on with some yellows. Now we don't have that exact combination, but we do have a different one that we think would be adorable. So let's look at this. Okay, so on this one, you've got two uh, blocks. You've got a sashed block here, and then you've got your uh, plain block here. This would be really cute if you were to put a pink ribbon in this, or if you need a different color, you could do that as well, a uh, different color ribbon. But what we thought would be the two flowers in your two blocks. And then you would still be able to put um, a ribbon on there because it would show up nicely on top of one of these. Your number is 8020297. It's called Flower Path. Picture Perfect is your pattern. It's available as an individual. It's also available as a downloadable book. Uh, my very first book, Quick and Easy. Okay, the next quilt is Dominique. Dominique is uh, one from my Modern Views, and it's kind of a stylized uh, flower. And have a little sip of water. I like this because you can use contrasting colors in your uh, blocks, and I do like polka dots a lot, so it's a cute way to uh, sash the quilt whenever you do your polka dots. So let's put that up there and see how it would look with pink fabrics. This one we call Tickle Me Pink. This is just a cute, happy, happy, happy fabric, isn't it? So our number one fabric is your largest print, and it just so happens, and I'm gonna move this over a little bit, John. Um, the biggest print is little butterflies here. Uh, this is a good one for small prints. So we put the, the pink with the larger flower in the, the number one position. We put the tiny little flowers in the number two position. And then, staying with my polka dots, we have a black and white polka dot that will be where you make your stylized fabric, I mean flower. And so you can see there's little centers of the flowers have that little polka dot in there. So absolutely cute, cute, cute. This one is 8020574. Oh, Tickle Me Pink is the name of the kit. Dominique is the pattern. It's available in the Modern Views book. It's also available as an individual pattern. Okay. The next one we have is uh, Town Square. Town Square is it's one of my most popular patterns. People love this. It looks great in, in um, polka dots or tone on tone, but it's also cute if you use a focus fabric here in the center, and that's what we're going to do today. So let's look at that. We've got some pieces and parts for this one too. This is precious fabric. Okay, if you like paisleys, you're gonna like this one. So this one, we're gonna be showing you the pretty paisley here. We picked up the darker pink and the green with that. So focus fabric number one is uh, the paisley, and then you compare the two, the lighter is number two, and the darker is number three. Your kit number is 8020575. It's called Sunday Picnic, and it's a town square pattern. It's available as an individual. It's also available in my book, Easy Peasy. Now, I keep telling you, focus one, focus is number one, light and dark. This is where you need that information. So when you're planning your quilt, you look at your three pieces of fabric and you put your largest print in the number one position, which is represented by a black and white dot. 
Your number two position is your lightest and your number three is your darkest. And then we give you the instructions for cutting it out by each fabric. And then in the instructions, we refer to the number of fabric and that makes it really easy for you to uh, put it together. Okay, I've got some pieces and parts here, so let's do this. We have a square in the center, and I'm going to do this a little differently. We do, we do strip piecing, and then we cut units. So these were two long strips, and I'm gonna put this down here because the way you're going to put this together is you cut these into units like this, and you sew them to the top and bottom of your square. And then you do the same thing with two longer pieces and those get sewn onto the quilt. Whoops, wrong side. They'll get sewn like this. And I put those in the wrong place. That's why my little brain is going, what? Okay. There we go. So that goes here. The green is going to go there. The pink will go over here and the green right here. So you will be able to get a good idea of how pretty this quilt is going to make up. Isn't that gorgeous? Love it. Okay, so this one's called Pretty in Pink. And did we get that number already? 8020575 is the number. All right, the next quilt that we have is It's a Breeze. It's a Breeze is a really pretty quilt that I enjoy because I like pinwheels and I like them when they alternate. So we alternated our pinwheel with the two different colors here. I don't have that fabric, but we do have this gorgeous batik. So let's look at it. And this is a pink going a little bit to a peach kind of a side but it is very, very pretty. Now, this would be used in your number one spot, which would correspond with the flower here. And then the number two spot would be uh, your pink, and that would correspond with your orange area. And then the number three would correspond with these teal colors. Very pretty set of batiks, and it's 8020450, sweet batiks. It's a breeze is the pattern. It's also available in the Modern Views book. And the next one is called Pinwheel Party. Told you I like pinwheels. <laughs> this one is a sashed uh, pinwheel along with a sashed block. And we do have this quilt available. It is called, the kit is called Pinwheel Party. And we do have that fabric, so we'll fold that up here and show you this one. All right, the number one fabric in this one is here and here inside the, the blocks. You can really see how this one corresponds. So the number one fabric. The number two fabric is this light, kind of a pink and purple color here. And then the number three is your purple back in this section here. So this one is called Pinwheel Party. It's 8020259. It's from the book Quick as a Wink. It is only available in that book. We do not have an individual uh, pattern for that. So remember, if you buy three kits, you can get the book free and you'll actually get eight patterns. If not, then the alternate pattern would be Pinwheel plus one. And that is this pattern. So it is a little different, but uh, you could select that one if you'd like. Okay, we've got some last chances for you. If you've been watching for very long, you know when we get down to just a few quilts, we always like to bring it to your attention. And we picked out some pink ones to share with you. This one's called Dogwood Petals, and it's such a pretty one. And if you're from the the south you probably love dogwoods if you're from the north you might like them too but i don't know if they i don't know if they grow up north the same way they do down here they just grow wild in our woods down here <laughs> but this one is the fabric number one and then we picked up this purpley kind of color with your number two 
And then number three is a brown that has just kind of a hint of that same purple. And if you don't know purple and brown are, um, well, I forgot the word, but they're right there together on the, or across from each other on the um, complementary. They're very complementary. Okay, it's 8020576 Dogwood Petals. We're recommending the cartwheel pattern. This is the only, it's only available as an individual. It's not in any book. We only have three of these kits, and then we will be out of those. The next one, this is so pretty, and there's only two left of this. This one is gorgeous, gorgeous. Isn't that sweet? This one is called Spring Romance, and it has the pretty florals. And we have this really, really neat fabric. It's, it's a woven fabric, but it's kind of a linen look, and it's really, really soft. It's a Robert Kaufman, and it's very nice for your number two fabric. The number three gives you that green that's picked up from the leaves, and that one is gorgeous. Only two left, 8020577 Spring Romance. We are recommending Through the Window as your pattern. And that's available in the Pretty Darn Quick book or as an individual pattern. Okay, the next one that we have for you, there's only three of these left. And this is another pretty one, too, with the butterflies. We only have three of these left. And this is a pretty uh, quilting treasures fabric with the colorful butterflies as your focus fabric. Your number two fabric is the pink. And the number three is your confetti, so it's gorgeous. Very pretty, and it is 8020578, Butterfly Dreams. We are recommending the windmill pattern, and that's in the Quilts for Kids book, and there's only three left. And the last one we have for you is called Peaches and Cream. Pe Peaches and Cream um, it's another rose design, so it has these really pretty roses for your focus. Then you've got your number two fabric, just picking up that peachy kind of color. And the number three fabric is your darker peach. Very pretty, and it's 8020579, Peaches and Cream. We recommend Sweet Time is the um, pattern. It's available in Easy Peasy, and it's our last chance, only three left. So to recap for you, we do have lots of free goodies on our website. You'll want to go to that button, uh, and you can download patterns that are free. You can get things that are helpful to you, like backing and borders. And then we also have My Pattern Collection Sheet, My Pattern Collection Sheet helps you to keep track of your patterns because I have written over a hundred patterns. Some are in books, some are individuals, and that pattern collection sheet will tell you what, where they are. We have chenille by the inch. We have many different colors, but we do have three pinks that we're uh, sharing with you. You can make uh, quilts, enough of the pink ribbons for your quilt, uh, if you're making a lap quilt out of one of these. Uh, we do hope that you will Join us again this next week. We're going to have a couple of weeks where John is going to go on vacation and <laughs> Hannah's going to go on vacation and Donna is incapable of doing this by herself. <laughs> but we have some pre-recorded programs for you for the next two weeks. So you stay tuned. We'll be advertising and letting you know when we're going to be posting. And um, we thank you very much for joining us. Have an awesome day and think pink.